What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Two Bros Performance YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I've been doing, a lot of stuff that I got done, and I have been terrible at recording. So, as you can see, we are not in my Connex box anymore. So, I brought the bug to Cedar City, where I'm living, got it in my brother's garage, and I'm working on it here so I don't have to commute all the time, and we have got a lot done. Right now, in this video, we're going to be doing lowering springs. I bought some 3-inch lowering springs. So, let's get with it. Alrighty, so we got the wheel off, and now uh, a couple things we have to do. I've been soaking this with PB Blaster because this thing's a little bit rusty. Um, got my tie rod end all soaked. We gotta unbolt that, and then we're gonna have to pull right there the lower control arm bolt off. But before, right here, I had to chop the top bolts on the shocks off because they were just. Let me go find the shock. Yeah, I guess you can't see. It was rusted out to the max and uh, I couldn't get the nut off the top of the shock. I put vice grips on there and held it as tight as I could and it just wore right off. It just rounded it. There's no way to get it off and save it so I figure I might as well throw new shocks in there while I'm at it. I have been PB blasting this bad boy for a while now, so we are going to we're going to pull that cotter pin out and then pop that castle nut out and then pound it with a uh, pickle fork and drop this bad boy. to keep the spring from popping out that way when I lower it. So last time it just popped off. I was trying to figure out why the lower control arm wouldn't drop. And then I saw it is caught on that heat shield and absolutely destroying it. So we're going to jack it up, pry that out of the way, and it should drop. And that is how you install a lowering spring. I've got the hole lined up with the castle nut right there. I might have to pull it just a hair more um, to get the cotter pin through. Ball joints back in place. I'm gonna go get my tie rod or my uh, sway bar end link right here. Throw my new one in that I bought. And in a couple of days, when I get my new shocks, I'll put them back in. Which is simple. You just slide it up through the bottom, throw three bolts on, and you're good to go. But that, my friends, is how you do a lowering spring on a 
Not even sure what years. This is a 97 GMC Jimmy chassis. So yeah. Whew. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was informative and helpful. Um, this is my first time doing it, so I'm not I'm no expert at it at all. But yeah, thanks for watching Two Bros Performance YouTube channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. We got plenty of videos coming out. We got how tos. We've got build series. So go check out the channel. Go check out the playlist. Check out the videos. Please uh, don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye.